give you another one. This is, uh, you need a little background for this because it's called the Ballad of the Button Box. Now the Button Box is uh, a, a, an accordion concertina store in Massachusetts. And I'm very glad it's there because when I first started, there was no store like that in America that I knew of. And I, when I needed to have my concertina fixed, I had to go buy a plane ticket and bring it to the Dippers in Wiltshire so they could fix it for me. But now we have the button box. Doug runs the store and Bob does the, the, the fixing and making of concertinas and in the back uh, he runs the shop. So it's Doug and Bob. Bob wrote this song three years ago. So it's brand new, really, as far as songs go. The Ballad of the Button Box. Well, a wannabe musician came into our store one day. She said, I'm looking for an instrument that I can learn to play. Something that is not too hard, because I don't have much skill. I wonder if there's something here that just might fit the bill. Well, I've tried the brass and woodlands, but the learning curve was steep. The rhythm of the drums I found impossible to keep. <laughs> the strings with bows were even worse, my intonation bad. I've tried a lot of instruments, I'm feeling kind of sad. Well, Doug, the owner of the store, he paused and scratched his chin. He went into the showroom and he beckoned her within. He took a box from off the shelf up high above his head, and as he placed it in her hands, these words to her he said, If you can type, you can play the concertina. It's hardly any harder than kazoo. No embouchure is needed. The bellows come pre-deleted. A push and then a pull will see you through. And a rang a tang can play the concertina. There really isn't all that much to do. You just push those buttons down for that sweet melodious sound. If you're into paint by numbers, it's the instrument for you. Well, that wannabe musician, she was skeptical at first. Experience had taught her to expect the very worst. She took the instrument from Doug and gave a tiny squeeze. A lovely little sound came out and by, but she was pleased. Well, that wannabe musician is a wannabe no more. She plays with others well. She knows the key. She has the score. If only she had stopped here first, her search would have been brief, and she would have saved herself a lot of time, expense, and grief. Well, you wannabe musicians, pay heed to what I say. There's more to life than practicing. There is another way. A squeezy little instrument that almost plays itself. Remember Dougie's words as he took one down from the shelf. If you can type, you can play the concertina. It's hardly any harder than kazoo. No embouchure is needed, the bellows come pre-pleated. A push and then a pull will see you through. And a rang a tank can play the concertina. It's hardly anything you have to do. You just push those buttons down for that sweet melodious sound. If you're in debate by numbers, it's the instrument for you. Well, my tale is nearly over. There's not much more to say. I hope that you'll come see us at the button box one day. 
Come see our concertina, elves a manufacturing. And if you listen carefully, you just might hear them sing. If you can play, you can play the concertina. It's hardly any harder than the zoo. No embouchure is needed, the bellows come pre -pleated. A push and then a pull will see you through. And a rang a tank can play the concertina. There's really isn't all that much to do. You just push those buttons down for that sweet melodious sound. If you're into paint by numbers, it's the instrument for you. Anglo, English, or duet, it doesn't matter what you get. You never have to tune it. Don't try, or you might ruin it. You just push those buttons down for that sweet melodious sound. If you're in the paint by numbers, it's the instrument for you. I think the concertina is the instrument for you.